Many of you may remember back in August of 2021, I was peacefully and politely exercising my rights to freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom of assembly on a traditional public forum as I spread the message of God bless the homeless veterans while standing at the steps of City Hall in Blackshear, Georgia, only to be issued a citation for unlawful assembly by Blackshear Chief of Police Chris Wright. Chief Wright was enforcing an outdated and unconstitutional City of Blackshear, Georgia ordinance that required a permit from the mayor and the city council for anyone to have freedom of speech within the city limits of Blackshear, Georgia. Any person desiring to parade or assemble on any public street, alley, or sidewalk of uh, the city for the purpose of this article shall file an application with the mayor setting forth the time, place, and purpose of such parade or assembly and obtain a permit before conducting such parade or assembly. So that's what I've got to go by. And that's under that's a city ordinance. Yeah, not a, not a state statute, but a city ordinance. Mm, let me say that's the Blackshear Code of Ordinance is what that's coming Section from. Section sixty six dash seven three. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, I'll take a citation then. Then I'll leave. Okay. I don't want to impede on anybody's um, freedoms or anything else, but you know I'm also sworn to uphold the ordinances and uh, you know the ordinances of Blackshear and the laws of the state of Georgia. Uh-huh. So it's just okay. If you get, if you're going to arrest me, I'll go ahead and leave. But if you're just going to cite me, then I have the option of leaving. I'll take a citation. Um, I, why would you want to do that? <laughs> because I believe this is my uh, my why, why, this, my I'm right to saying, do this. I, I, I don't know why. You, I mean, if that's what we need to do, then then we'll do it. But I just don't want. I'd, I'd rather I'd rather not have to have to. You know, you pay a fine or anything like that. I mean, it's your choice, but. Uh, well, I believe that it's my civil right to do this, and that's why I'm doing that. So. All right, well, give me just a second. All right. Do you mind if I step up there out of the sun? Yes, fine. Okay. The chief wanted me to cite you. Okay. And uh, I'm going to sign this in front of you here. All right. Lieutenant Wichman, 301. Yes, sir. You got a court date of January 21 next, okay. next year, okay? Okay. So. This is not prove you're innocent or good. It's just proving I'll give you a copy of the citation. You're being, you're being cited for unlawful assembly or parade. That's the city ordinance we have. Okay. Oh, uh, and like I said, this is not prove you're innocent okay. or good. It's just proving I'll give you a copy of the citation. All right. Let me see if I can just do it with one hand. Need glasses? <laughs> no, sir. But like me, I you ain't got that far yet. <laughs> no, I need glasses. I just yeah, got the sir. science. I, I got you. All right, and he said that once the citation is issued, that I need to go ahead and go then. Yes. And stop, or then it would be jail. Yes. Okay, all right. I'll go ahead and And that's your copy there. So, uh, all right. A short time later, the criminal citation was dropped. Then in January of 2023, I filed a civil rights lawsuit against Chief Wright and the city of Blackshear. I was represented by two of the best civil rights organizations in the world. The Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression, or FIRE, as well as the University of Georgia's First Amendment Clinic. Here is a press release from the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression regarding the results of the lawsuit. Blackshear, Georgia, July 6, 2023. A Georgia city has eliminated an unconstitutional law that required citizens to get approval from the mayor and the city council before they could exercise their right to protest. Following a First Amendment lawsuit from the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression, the city of Blackshear, Georgia, revoked an unconstitutional ordinance police cited in stopping veteran Jeff Gray from holding a God Bless the Homeless Veteran sign outside of City Hall. The city also paid the National Coalition for the Homeless Veterans $1,791, symbolizing the year the First Amendment was ratified, and will train its police officers on citizens' First Amendment rights. We held the town of Blackshear, Georgia accountable for violating my civil liberties, and we did so in a classy, meaningful and effective manner, said Gray, who regularly gauges whether government officials know and respect citizens' First Amendment rights. This is what it's all about, folks. Together, we can and will hold our public servants accountable, and we will enforce our civil liberties. Thank you to all of my subscribers and loyal supporters who have stuck with me throughout the years. I also want to encourage everyone to support the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression by donating to FIRE through the link I have provided in the description, of this video and the pinned comment. After all, FIRE cannot defend our rights without monetary support. You can also make your own donation to the National Coalition for the Homeless Veterans. God bless our homeless vets.